This video is sponsored by Best Day. Bitch. <laughs> this is my best friend. Times two. And this is my little brother. <laughs> and this is my password journal. <laughs> it only opens to my boy. Answer. Rockstar. Girls rock. <laughs> password journal. Girl tag. So cool and connected. Oh, girl, you can see my nipples. Yes, girl. Yes, God. There it is, girl. We figured it out, girl. We did that, girl. This is what y'all wanted. This is what y'all came to see. I figured it out. I want you to. All the other channels can quit at this point. But wait, there's a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Bessie. Bessie? The literal most comfortable footwear I've ever had in my entire life. I've heard about these for a second. When I was looking up good shoes to wear. And so you don't understand how absolutely happy I was when they approached me with this sponsor. Girl, let's talk about it. You're wearing a pair right now. In lavender. And when I tell you they're comfortable, they are absolutely comfortable. It's like they're walking on clouds. Walking on. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. It's absolutely insane how comfortable they are. These are the everyday. They feel like something you can wear every single day. Let me tell you. 100% waterproof and snowproof. Perfect for the fall and winter season. And they're made from Dymatex, which is a dual climate knit material, which keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's like having a protective blanket over my feet. And they literally do not feel like they should be waterproof. Like, not at all. But when I tell you they are waterproof, they are waterproof. Now, if you guys know me from the past, you know that I love me some knitted shoes. But the problem with wearing other knitted shoes, they only are a typical type of shoes you can wear in one season. Because when it's too cold, your foot freezes off. When it's raining, your foot drowns. Not with Vessi. Not with Vessi at all, girl. Insane! And it's just knitted! And they're also both sustainably made and vegan. Wait, let me take off the other one. Look how cute this color is! Girl. girl. <laughs> I like getting things I like, okay? They're absolutely comfortable. Super lightweight. With antibacterial insoles. Keeping your girl fresh. Okay. I've had like the worst luck when it comes to finding a pair of shoes for the past like three years. Every time I find a pair of shoes, they get like destroyed within a month. Or they start off feeling great. And then a week later, of wearing them every day, and suddenly I'm like walking on the ground. Not with these girls. I've been wearing them for a few days now. And haven't felt a single problem. They're really good on going on just walks, which I try to do every day now. Like normal commute. Quick little runs to the grocery store. And you know when I go back to New York, girl, I'm gonna be wearing Wearing these shoes. Cause the shoes I brought last time were a bad decision and I was literally shredding skin on the floor. TMI, TMI. These are the everyday shoes. And their new everyday move shoes, which I have on right now, let me take them off again. These are my favorites, these are my favorites, I'm sorry. The new everyday move shoes are purposely designed for people that like to explore, basically. There's enhanced readability, all the comfort, added support, all to help you not make your feet feel like they've been walking for seven years. We've only been walking for two hours. That's how I felt when I was in New York, when I was wearing the wrong shoes, girl! I don't think you guys understand how much wearing a cuddle pair of shoes completely changed your attitude for the entire day. Like, ever since I've been wearing these, I've just been like, chill. The besties are the shoes I can wear every day. Check out Vessi in the link below and use my code MACDOES it to get $25 off your Vessi shoes. Aha! Save some money! If you guys are looking for shoes, I highly recommend. I highly recommend. I can't recommend even harder, girl. Look at them! But anyways, thank you, Vessi, for sponsoring this video. Now back to it! I cracked the code, girl! Girl, it's the code being cracked. Okay, it's the code I'm tipsy! Welcome to another episode of Mac Does Stuff For Himself. Not for y'all, because fuck you! This is for me! If you enjoy it too, then thank you, but this is for me, okay? Let me tell you the scam I kinda pulled a little bit. Now I just asking you guys for any type of toy or gadget from the 90s and early 2000s you would want me to review, cause that's what I do on my channel, right? right. Now this the motherfucking gadget, this hub, has been on my list of things I've always wanted to try out, but never had the balls to do so, because I didn't know if anybody else remembered this fever dream of a product. <laughs> A voice activated diary that activates and opens to the sound of your voice. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Long before there were their series. Okay, Google. Amazon Echo. And I said it like that because mine is literally across from me and I did not want to activate it right now because I am not in the mood. I am not in the mood. You've been pissing me the fuck off. <laughs> there was a device invented that can do what they did long before they could ever do it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is the future. Did it work? I don't know. I don't know anybody that had one. Which is weird because I was friends with only girls. But it's also weird because what girl is telling you they have a fucking diary, okay? But I put out that original tweet hoping that somebody else in this universe knew what the hell this was. And as soon as one person posted a photo underneath that thread, I bought not one, but three that goddamn evening. And here we are, girl. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah! I remember 
remember the commercial? <laughs> Y'all remember the commercial. These are my best friends. This is my stinky brother. <gasps> and then I write in my diary about it, and then it's a secret. Ha ha ha. You can't sneak in, you stinky ass motherfucking brother. <gasps> you know. Hey, girls. You got secrets. You got emotions and things you want to say. Oh, don't say it out loud. We need to build a society made to listen to you. So here's a, a, a diary. Man, you don't need diaries. Shut up and go to war. War! But hey, girl, the original one doesn't fully exist. Unless I wanted to buy a maybe partially used one off of a third party. 2000s memorabilia collector off of eBay, but I did not want to deal with that. I've watched too many stalker killer crime videos, and I know what the fuck happens when you give somebody your address. So no, bitch, you're gonna catch a meat slipping. Let's start with this one first. Because it's different than those two. Those two are the main girls. Head honcho. That girl tech business. Girl, bitch, you know. Keeping your stinky brother out of your room. You thought starters. What? You only open their diaries when they have a thought, right? How do diaries work, guys? I'm sorry. <gasps> I was growing up with the dick, so they put other rules on me. I thought whenever you were in your room thinking of something like, Oh my god, I wanna fuck the shit on this boy. You know what elementary girls think? I thought that was when you opened up the diary and then wrote it down with some pictures of some dicks or something. And then closed it and then called it a day. Tell me if I'm wrong. A safe place to express your thoughts. Cause once again, we did not create a society for you to be able to express yourself safely. Cause there are still parts in this world where you, if you go outside and express yourself, you might face an entitled man out of nowhere being like, ah, this woman just smiled at me. That means she's mine. And then get thrown acid on your face because you deny their hand in marriage. That happened. I literally just read on it. So my password journal! <laughs> <laughs> There's an entire booklet of instructions. Like, girl, girl, are we reading this, girl? I don't think we should read this, girl. Beyonce wouldn't read it, so we're not reading it, girl. <laughs> uh, does it need batteries? I got batteries, girl. Why am I sitting here like I'm stupid? What kind of batteries do you need? It's gonna be something stupid. Don't be like, oh, we need double QRF batteries only. Get out of my face. Ah, yes. The double CFRE batteries? Yes, let me just go in my back closet. <gasps> Y'all ready? Hello? Bitch. Girls, I guess we're reading. Y'all take a calm down for a second. We were feeling a little too empowered real quick. Reading is fundamental. Press either button, open journal. Ooh! Bitch! It just welcomed me. It said, hey girl. Write your secret. Turn the selector switch to password and press the record button. When the red light comes on, clearly say your chosen password. Which one's the password button? God damn it, god damn it. I just wanna do this so quick, what the hell? Record your password. Booty hole. Booty hole. Repeat your password. Booty hole. <laughs> password doesn't match. Try again. Booty hole. <laughs> password doesn't match. Start over. <laughs> This girl just condescendingly laughed in my fucking face. Not once, bitch, but twice. And told me the goddamn password I just made two seconds ago was incorrect. Like if she was doing her job correctly. Like if I was the idiot. Never in my life did I want to beat up a product. Oh, your password. Booty hole. Booty hole. Repeat your password. Booty hole. <laughs> Booty hole. Password saved. There we go. I was about, girl, you about to catch it. I mean, wait, that sounded wrong. That sounded wrong. Oh, no. Oh, um, man. Don't be whack. Girl, you're going to catch it, okay? <gasps> Booty hole. Ooh, bitch, this is dangerous. <laughs> oh, hey, bitches. Oh, wait, give me a second. I got to write down my secret. So shut up. <laughs> Booty hole. <laughs> I want to fuck the shit. <gasps> Wait, isn't there a light too? How does that turn on? Light. 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 Bitch. Bow and show light button. Oh, it's just a button? Girl, that commercial lied to me. They said that was too advanced. That was too advanced for the children. They had to hold it back. Ah, there it is. Ha-ha. 
ah, right there. Really close. If you look super into it, you can see I want to fuck the shit. <gasps> oh, wait, there's an intruder alert thing. Let me do that. Booty hole. Record your alert. Bitch, get out my shit, you fucking dick. Ew. Bitch, get out my shit, you fucking dick. Ew. Alert they said that's enough. It's Girl, I didn't say shit. Yeah. That's not the password. Yeah. Bitch, get out my shit, you fucking dick. <laughs> Girl. And there's a hidden compartment, right? It's too noisy. Shut up. Booty hall. There we go. To hear intruder again, select intruder alert and press play. It plays me my intruders? Girl, okay, I did not expect that. They said, girl, we keep long. Girls, you're protected. And here's the hidden compartment. We put all your teen girl things, you know, like weed. The fact that I said that, but I wasn't even meaning it as a joke, but then real life. Uh, girl tech. Girl tech. Girl tech. Girl tech. Tech for girls. Like diary. Cause men don't write. They fight. Okay, we're gonna do this one first. Cause this one must be older than this one. Cause this one, girl, comes with an MP3 player. Ah! Ah! The future. This is the oldest one I could find. The oldest techie decky I could syringe into my hand. Was syringe the right word? I don't know. I am tipsy. Here it is, girl! Tech is like the, the apple of the girl technology world. Right behind Tampax? I'm trying to sound problematic. This is supposed to be satirical, guys. Oh. Welcome back. Girl, I just got here. Please record your password. The gay agenda. Please repeat your password. The gay agenda. The password does not match. The gay agenda. Password. There we go, bitch. They try to get me. They try to act like I don't know what I'm doing. They try to act like I'm not a 25 year old man using a product made for ages six and up. Get your shit together. <laughs> the gay agenda. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I cannot wait to show mine. <gasps> Does the light work? Wow! As you can see it. Right there. Right there. That small circle. I two. Light. 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 Give me my money back. Oh. I can make a greeting? Wait. Hey, badass bitch. Hope your pussy wet. Period. And then alert. Oh, no, you ugly ass ho. Get the Ah. And then what else? Sign, off. Sign off. Goodbye, you beautiful ass. Pussy wet ho. Fuck yeah, get that pussy wet all night. Gang, gang. Goodbye, you beautiful ass. Pussy wet ho. Fuck yeah, get that pussy wet all night. Sign off. Recording. They cut off the gang, gang. Get my money back. The gay agenda. Hey, badass bitch. Hope your pussy wet. It is. It is. Weed. Oh, Girls, God. I'm bored with this one. Let's move on to the MP3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. MP3 player and cord not include. Girl, I gotta get a cord. Girl, uh, girl, the ghetto. The ghetto. Girl, that did not sound like it was human. Okay, but anyways, let's make a password. Girl, it did not, did not know that was there. <laughs> this door shot the fuck out. Let me show y'all. Girl, if I had something in there, it would fly the fuck out. All my weed. It only opens to your war dancer. Rock Girls rock. Niggas in Paris. Niggas in Paris. Secret storage password does not match. Niggas in Paris. Period, yes, you, you thought it was gonna know. I can say it. I can 
say it. I can say it. I have a black friend, okay? Whenever we're listening to that hip hop, I like, say it and they're like cool about it because they're like cool, okay? If you don't let me say it, you're like not cool, okay? What's oppression? That's only a thing you believe in. Maybe you're the problem. Oh. Here we go. Girl, I made a password. <laughs> this device dead ass just said no. No, no you're not saying that again. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. No. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bitch, let me, let me read. Negroes in London. Negroes in London. Period. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we got it. Negroes in London. Negroes in London. Did I just lock myself out? Negroes in London. Negroes in London. Negroes in London. Negroes in London. God damn it. Okay. Whatever. I'm guessing this is the MP3 jack. So we're just gonna try that. Can y'all hear that? Girl, why is this so low? Girl, they said, write your secret and listen to music in secret. You ain't gotta hear it. Negroes in London. So what we learned today, kids. Password journal might be racist. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. For a second, I thought this one's gonna work at all. I did ask thought it was gonna open when you said anything in like the same pattern, but no. That's wrong, girl. Apparently, it can know exactly what you're saying, but it doesn't know what Negroes in London means, girl. It said what? Negro, what's that word? I don't see color. <laughs> Shout out to at Devin Ruin and Ayawana Ayawosku. What? I don't know. Thank you for retweeting me on Twitter. Comment down below. What other toys or things or items that you see on TV from the 2090 that you just like want someone to like tell you if it was worth it or not because I will do that for you in my voice I still have that cat somewhere. I don't know where the fuck I put it And since it's like Christmas time and all that stuff I see a number of these type of videos coming up a little bit I bought a bunch of ass seen on TV products and they should be coming in soon girl And I'm gonna make videos about each and every one of them. Here we go. You can't stop me But anyways, my name is Maggie. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe what? Last week I asked you guys what type of slipper you would wear if you were Cinderella because I know goddamn well nobody would wear a glass slipper Couldn't really find an answer of a slipper that I like. But this one person said. Friendly reminder that in the original fairy tale, Cinderella's stepsister cut parts of their feet off so the slipper would fit. And that is true. They say that Cinderella slips her foot into the blood soaked slipper. Because once again, it was a glass fucking slipper. So it was just a pool of blood within a glass slipper. Just sitting there. It didn't soak in. It can't soak in. It's a glass slipper. Anyways, bye.